Hi everyone, it's Agnieszka Murdoch from 5 Minute Language. This video is about articles. So when do we use a, an and the in English? But before we start, download your free practice exercise booklet from the description underneath this video so that you can practice what we learn in this lesson. So let's get started. Let's look at some examples of sentences that use a, an and the and explain when to use them in English. So there is a goat in my garden. A goat. I am mentioning this goat for the first time. You don't know about it yet. So that's why I need a. There is a goat in my garden. If there was an elephant in my garden, I need to say there is an elephant because elephant begins with a vowel. So you need an instead of a. The goat is hungry. So I am now mentioning the goat for the second time. You already know I am talking about the specific goat that's in my garden. So the second time I mention it, I need the and that's the definite article in English. A is indefinite and the is definite. So there is a goat in my garden. The goat is hungry. A and an is for countable nouns only. So you can count goats, one goat, two goats, three goats. That's why they're countable. For uncountable nouns, you don't need an article. In fact, you must not use a or an with uncountable nouns. So there is a goat in my garden and there is also grass in my garden. So there is no article in front of grass because grass is not countable. But when I talk about the grass, for the second time after I've already mentioned it, I can use the. So you can use definite articles with uncountable nouns. So there is grass in my garden. The grass is green. The grass. You know specifically which grass I'm talking about. The grass in my garden. And that's why I need the. So the definite article. Sometimes you can use the when you're mentioning something for the first time. When you know the other person already knows what you're talking about. For example, I want to feed the dog now. I'm going to take the dog for a walk. So we only have one dog living with us and you know which dog specifically I'm talking about. I'm talking about our dog. So when talking about the dog, I need to use the because I'm talking about that specific dog that you already know about. You also use the with something that is the only thing out there. For example, the sun rises in the east. There is only one sun. So we always use the with it. And finally, sometimes you don't need any article in front of a word. So we've already said with uncountable nouns, when you mention them for the first time or when you talk about them in general, you don't need an article. So there is grass in my garden. Grass in general is green. And the grass in my garden is also green. You also don't need any article in front of the names of languages. So French, English, Spanish. However, when you talk about populations, you use the. So the French means the population of France, the people who live in France, the French but their language is just called French. 
there is no article in front of sports. So I play basketball. There is no A or the, just basketball. And there is no article in front of subjects such as history, maths. I like history. It's my favorite subject at school. Don't forget to download your free practice exercise booklet from the description underneath this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos about English. See you next time. Bye.